Hi, and welcome back to Airgun Only Adventures. This adventure takes us back to South Africa, one of my favorite places to hunt. After a great flight, we are back in South Africa again for another safari. Back to meet our good friends Rob Dale and Andrew Meyer with Hanslow Safaris. This hunt, we're going to be pursuing the Springbuck Antelope. And for the Springbuck hunt, I chose my Daystate Wolverine 303. This gun has been a trusted hunting partner of mine on many, many trips around the United States, and this is its second trip back to South Africa. Follow along on this adventure and see how we do on the Springbuck Antelope. This was my last and final day on Hanslow Safaris. We were going out for the fourth time trying to get a spring buck. These animals run in big herds. They have very good eyesight and very good hearing. And when you're working with 50 to 100 animals in a herd, it's extremely difficult to get close enough to get a shot. I knew I needed to be inside that 80 yard mark with my 303, and it proved to be a test over the four day period. But by golly, it all finally came together. The wind was blowing really bad this day. We had 35, 40 mile an hour crosswinds gusting. It never stopped. We had several blown stalks, as you'll see. This particular herd right here, they come up from our left and surprised us. And I guess they caught my movement and they blew right past us. They went flying by. So we moved our setup. The only place we had a setup was a bee sting bush. I mean, this thing was terrible. The wind was blowing. These bee sting bushes were slapping us all over our bodies. We had to back up in them for cover because we had all these eyes. This herd of spring buck come up over the ridge. Well, they decided to bed down just out of range. We waited and we waited. A few got up, we started to get excited. They moved 15, 20 yards and lay back down. An hour and a half we sat here waiting to get this shot. Now I'm trying to figure out, is this really worth it? We just need to go home and be done with this. I'm not gonna get a spring buck with my Wolverine. Well, Lady Luck shined on us. The whole herd got up and very slowly started feeding. Finally, everything came together. I was steady on the sticks. Everything worked right. We held off for the wind, pulled the trigger. Perfect shot. Right through both shoulders, center punched his heart. He jumped and lunged. He ran 15 or 20 yards did a little spin, and he was done. The Daystate Wolverine did a perfect job. My trusted partner on many hunts, my Wolverine 303. I got my spring buck in South Africa. Let's go take a look at my buck. I had to keep waiting, that wind kept blowing me off. Oh, look at that, what a trophy. <laughs> look at that, right in the shoulder. That's a nice little rim. As we approach my spring buck, boy, the adrenaline started to flow, my heart started to pound. Four days of trying, and I finally succeeded. What a beautiful animal. These little spring buck are absolutely gorgeous. They range in about 60 to 80, 85 pounds, and that's pretty much the upper limit for the 30 caliber air rifle, within 80 yards. My Daystate Wolverine 303 has always performed flawlessly for me. But now, Daystate has come out with the Wolverine 2. The Wolverine 2 has a different style stock. It's got ergonomic finger grooves in the pistol grip. It fits your hand like a glove. They've done a little redesigning in the breech block, mostly cosmetic, but the great thing about it, it's a different platform. Now it comes with a carbon fiber 480cc bottle. By doing that, they have dropped the weight drastically, giving it more volume so there's more of a shot count. This is the new Wolverine 2 303. Look for it on more of our exciting hunt videos. Until next time, shoot straight and hit your target.